Hello friends, today we will see how to change default slider icon of a DV slider module. So before showing you, uh, before sh uh, showing you the tutorial, let me show you what we are going to achieve today. This this is my client website for client website. So what I have done for them uh, is like so on this slider, I have changed the default slider icon to a different icon. So on this page, I have used three slider module. So for each and every slider, I have changed the icon. So it is easy to do achieve this kind of uh, thing by using a simple CSS code. So let's dive into our tutorial website. Let's just create a page over here. Let's just build it on front end. Let's just add a slider module over here and uh, no need of doing any customization. As you can see right now it is a default arrow icon which is provided by the DB uh, for any slider module if uh, you are using on your DB WordPress website. So in order to change this, uh, this icon what you need to do is like DB has a lot of uh, icon library. So what you have to do is like scroll down to this and you can see these are the icons. So you can select any icon which you want to be used on your slider module. So in uh, this tutorial, I am using this icon. So uh, this will be used for the before uh, and this will be used for the after. So in order to do that thing, what you have to do is just go to my blog article where I have written the all, all the CSS code which would be used in this tutorial and just copy this CSS class and go to the slider module section in advance and in the CSS class just paste this class and copy this exact code copy this exact code and paste in the page setting advance and the custom CSS and now you can see the default arrow uh, icon has been changed. So you can just play around any icon if you want to add for example if you want to add this icon so let's just keep it uh, give a number of 30. So as you as you can see the uh, arrow icon has been changed so you can just play around what icon do you want to show so there are lots of icon which you can use for your slider module so let me just uh, move it to back and hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and do subscribe to this youtube channel because more tutorial and quick tips for dv website is coming thank you